Okay, so this question asks us to prepare a classified balance sheet. So basically you have to know what goes on a balance sheet and that is your AL, your assets, liabilities, and equity. And remember, assets have to equal liabilities and equity. An easy way to remember that, if you drink too much ale, like the alcoholic kind, you lose your balance. So that's what goes on your balance sheet, assets, liabilities, and equity. Now, a classified balance sheet then breaks the assets and liabilities into current and long-term. So current assets are things expected to be used or consumed within one year. Long-term assets will last longer than one year, things like property, plant, equipment, machinery, buildings. And then usually we break things into current and long-term liabilities as well. Current liabilities will be due within one year, long-term due outside of the current year. And that helps us better manage our cash flow so we know what monies we have going out so we need to make sure we have enough money coming in to cover the bills that are due soon or quickly. So let's start looking at our classified balance sheet here. So we're going to have the term assets uh, and let's go ahead and we'll fill those in and then we'll fill out the rest here. So we'll have current assets and then we will have our property plant and equipment which are our long-term assets. So this will be our total current assets here. So current assets, let's look up here. What things do we have here that are expected to be used or consumed within one year that the company owns? So cash is always a company's <laughs> number one current asset. It's always the first thing we list on our balance sheet. So how much cash does the company have? $36,165. Then typically you would see accounts receivable, supplies, or your prepaids. So we have up here, I see um, office supplies of $26.50. Let's put our receivables first though. Accounts receivable, it's usually cash and then accounts receivable. Uh, and that amount was $17,640. Supplies, we had office supplies of $26.50. And what else do I see that we might qualify for a current asset? Investment, sometimes you'll see those as current and sometimes you'll see them as long-term. This particular problem doesn't um, really denote that, but I'm gonna give you a little, little help and tell you it is considered a current asset for this problem. So then to total those up, we just add all four of those balances together and we get $73,155. So this company has $73,155 in current assets. Now property, plant, and equipment are those long-term assets, things like furniture and equipment. So we have both of those here. Let's go ahead and get those filled in. So equipment, we can see has a balance of $43,680. And our furniture had a balance of 21,190. Those two added together are 64,870. So those are my total long-term assets, then total property, plant, and equipment. We call that P, P, and E. P, P, and E, property, plant, and equipment. So if I add my current assets and my long-term assets, my property, plant, and equipment, that's going to give me my total assets. So it says if I add these two together then, 73,155 and 64,870, the company has $138,125 worth of total assets. That's what they own, $138,025. Let's look at then next, we're going to have liability. So what does the company owe in this case? What are things they owe? Well, it looks like they owe accounts payable $57.75. Not to be confused with accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is when we are receiving money. That's an asset. Payable is when we owe somebody money. That's a liability. And I see notes payable up here too. That's a formal written promise to pay, usually with due date and interest attached. More like a bank loan. 
the accounts payable would be just with uh, uh, owing our suppliers. So we went out and we bought some office supplies or some some inventory or something like that. Usually much more less formal. And uh, due the next month, basically, they send you a bill, you paid off. Okay, so total liabilities in this case then appear to be 56700 So let me explain. Out of the $138,025 in assets, the company that the company owns, they owe $56,700 on that. So let's look at stockholders' equity then. That is the final section on our balance sheet. Assets, liabilities, stockholders' equity. I always abbreviate to just equity. And that is comprised of two parts, common stock and retained earnings. So common stock, let's see, what is the balance up here? 45,000. Okay, now I gave a hint here. The retained earnings balance shown above is a beginning balance. It's not yet been adjusted to get the ending balance as required in the statement of retained earnings. If you just enter this number, it will be marked wrong, okay. So we have to add in our revenue and subtract out any payments for dividends here. Okay, so to help me, I brought out the calculator here. So what we're gonna do is take the current balance in our retained earnings, which is $28,385. And we need to add our revenue to that because I really need to add my net income. But the way I get my net income is to take my revenues minus my expenses. So I'm gonna add any revenue that we have. And we have service revenue here, 22,355. And then I'm going to add another revenue I see, which is interest, 6450. And then I'm gonna subtract, and you can see, I'm collecting the numbers here, I'm gonna subtract any expenses I see. So here's rent, 3400. And then I'm going to subtract utilities, 1300 Advertising expense, 31.25, And finally, salaries expense, $13,040. And that should give me $36,325. That is the number then for my ending retained earnings. Again, I took the beginning retained earnings added the revenue that I had and subtracted the expense and I got 36325 So if I add those two together, I get my total stockholders equity and that's going to be 81325 Now remember with your ale, your total liabilities and stockholders equity have to equal your total assets. Total assets equal liabilities plus equity. So if I add my two here, liabilities plus my stockholders equity, I better get the same amount as I see in my total assets. And I do, 138,025. Those two have to balance, that's why it's called a balance sheet. And um, my accounting equation stayed in balance, so everything looks good.